Hello, Dylan here from Hammerpedia.com, and in today's video, you're about to learn how to plumb a bathroom. I'm talking drains and vents. Also, stick around to the end of this video because I'll send you the plumbing diagrams for these two bathrooms. The first diagram is for the bathroom I'm about to plumb in this video, and the second diagram you'll get is for this full bathroom right here. More on these diagrams in just a minute. All right, so before you plumb a bathroom, you need to know some basic rough-in measurements. Let's start with the toilet. I'm using a four inch closet flange here. The center of the flange is roughed in 12 inches measured from the finished wall. If you're measuring from an unfinished wall, add in your wall thickness. Most likely that's half inch drywall, which puts the center of the flange 12 and a half inches measured from a stud wall. You also need at least 15 inches of clearance from the center of the flange to any adjacent wall or adjacent plumbing fixture. So that means 15 inches of clearance to the left and 15 inches to the right. That's code minimum and you can have more. Also notice the closet flange sits directly on top of the finished floor. Moving over to the bath lab. This is a 30 inch vanity. I've got our inch and a half bath lab drain centered right in the middle of the vanity. Also, the center of the drain is approximately 18 inches above the finished floor. The lab is roughed in with an inch and a half sanitary tee in the vertical position. Also, the water lines are roughed in approximately 21 inches above the finished floor. They're spaced around 8 inches apart. And here's what you'll need to connect the plumbing under your bathroom sink. You'll need an inch and a half trap adapter. You'll also need an inch and a half plastic P-trap. Trim trap kits like this come with two different sizes of washer. You'll use the inch and a half by inch and a quarter slip joint washer to connect the lab's inch and a quarter waste outlet to the inch and a half trap. And here you can see that reducing washer. I'll also mention that both major codes in the US will permit a single basin lab to be roughed in with an inch and a quarter vent and an inch and a quarter trap. However, in this example, I'm going all inch and a half. Let's move around to the back of this bathroom so you can see how these drains connect together. This is a nice simple pattern because both the toilet and lab dump their waste right into our main three inch drain right from the vertical. The key to this pattern is getting your main three inch horizontal drain directly under and parallel to your plumbing wall. Moving upstream to the toilet, here we've got a four inch closet flange. The flange connects to a short piece of four inch PVC that drops right into this four by three closet bin. The closet bin fitting is four inches on the inlet and three inches on the outlet. Now normally the plumbing code never allows a drain to be reduced in size in the direction of flow like this. However, there's one exception and it's with toilets. Plumbing code does not consider a four by three closet connection as a reduction in size and this fitting is a great choice under a four inch flange. Then our trap arm connects right into this three inch santee. Now we've got a vertical to horizontal transition here. Several choices and fittings, but in this example, we're going with a three inch combo. You could also use a three inch Y with 45 as well. Also notice the clean out. To add a clean out, you'll need two additional fittings a three inch clean out adapter and a three inch clean out plug. The clean out adapter cements right into the inlet of the combo and provides a convenient point of access to rod the drain in case of a backup. Let's move downstream to the left. We've got another vertical to horizontal transition here, which again requires a long sweep fitting. In this case, we're going with a three by three by inch and a half Y with 45. Now this three inch drain continues downstream and eventually Ys right into this home's building drain. All right, let's talk about venting, starting with the toilet's vent. The size of this vent depends on your plumbing code. The two most common codes in the US is the IPC and the UPC. In the IPC, a toilet's individual vent is inch and a half. In the UPC, it's two inches. Now to get this vent to connect into our three inch sanitary tee, I'm using a flush bushing. If you're in the IPC, use a three by inch and a half flush bushing, or if you're in the UPC, go with a three by two bushing. Let's quickly talk about the lab's vent. I've got it roughed in inch and a half, although both codes will permit a single basin lav to be installed with an inch and a quarter vent. Inch and a half is pretty typical though. Also notice how the lab's vent offsets horizontal well above the lab's flood level rim, and that's important. You'll also notice the horizontal vent has a slight grade to it. Water vapor can condense inside vent pipes, and rainwater also enters part of your venting system. So put just a little bit of slope on your horizontal vents to drain any of that moisture back to your drainage system. Now I will mention something to my friends in the UPC. Unlike the IPC, the UPC will let you sneak by 
with a horizontal level vent without any grade on it. This assumes it's above the flood level rim, of course. But keep in mind, horizontal vents can't have any sags or any drops. Again, that's UPC only. The IPC wants horizontal plumbing vents sloped. Also, note we're using a sanitary tee to tie the lav's individual vent into the toilet's vent. Notice the sand tee is upside down. In the IPC, this can be an inch and a half sanitary tee upside down, or the UPC go with a two by two by inch and a half sand tee upside down. Now, this vent extends up through the roof, or in many cases, can tee into the home's existing venting system. All right, so that wraps up this bathroom, and we put together this free plumbing diagram of the very bathroom I just plumbed in this video. It's a detailed 3D CAD drawing. We've also included another free diagram of this full bathroom right here. You'll see how all these drains and vents connect together, and we labeled each DWV fitting for you based on both major codes in the U.S. And here's how you can get your free digital copy of these bathrooms. You'll find a link in the description of this video. Just click the link. You'll be taken to this page on Hammerpedia's website. Put in your email address, then a minute or two later, you'll receive an email from us with the diagrams inside. You can print them out and save them to your computer. Thanks for watching.